name is Mira. I um, represent nonprofits called Pet Cure Spirit. We are a group of committed volunteers that promotes literacy to underprivileged villages in East Borneo, Indonesia. <coughs> now, I want you to take a look back, a memory of your childhood experiences when you first introduced to the world by books. It could be the uh, your all-time favorite characters from the storybooks or the first time you read about dinosaur or the journey to the Milky Way that you've ever dreamed about? What if you could not ever imagine those images because you had no book to read about it? I am one of the teacher in the remote villages in East Borneo and I face those hard times with my students because they go to school with no bags, no uh, books in their bags. And the latest UNESCO data stated that only one around thousands who has the interest in reading. And I noticed that the, one of the problem is because there are very limited access <coughs> to books in this rural area. <coughs> we, as the Pack Your Spirits, uh, we initiate these actions because we want to support two things. First, we, uh, we will improve the interest in reading and the children in rural area to fuel their passion in reading and lifelong learning itself. The second one, we want to engage community awareness of these issues, uh, both of, from the community in the urban area and also the rural one. How we do this? We actually uh, do these three steps. We, we collect the books, we pack, and then send the books. The collecting um, sessions that we uh, did is we did a school visit to the urban schools in our cities. There are 20 of them involved, and there are 15 companies involved. They have this one man, one book donation program in their institutions. And we also do a trust for books program, meaning that we collect uh, the trust of, I mean, used papers or used newspapers from these institutions. We um, get them into the recycling area and cash them and buy new books from this cash. Uh, second one, we pack those, so we host a community events of picking. There are 20, 250 volunteers engaged in this um, whole event. And finally, we send them to the, send the books to the remote villages. Up until now, there are 10 remote schools. And the direct assessment and the feedback um, goes to the beneficiaries that we, first we do the direct assessment first to target which school that we will uh, deliver the books to. And we also uh, encourage the teachers and also the students to maximize the, our program into uh, more impactful, like um, they get benefits from that uh, books. So where is our beneficiaries? It's up there in East Borneo. Yep. And within this one and a half year, we already donate 6,500 books, send them to town schools in town villages and touch around 800 children. And we did that by manage $1,000 donations that comes from the public donations, from the CSR of the companies, and also the Trust for Books program that I've already mentioned. This number is, might be a small thing for us, but it, it really uh, impactful for them. I, to prove that, I had a letter from Sinta. Sinta is one of the teacher in our targeted schools. She has just created a reading club and she's telling stories with her students and it's, it's so amazing to know that the students have their first experiences with the books, open their mind to the new world and the, uh, what even wonderful is that this is Yanto, uh, Sinta's uh, student and Yanto has just competed in the science competitions and Sinta told me that yeah, I guess it's because of the science book now appear in our library. And we'd like to hear more inspiring stories from the students and teachers in the remote places. And that's why we would like to increase our impact into fivefold, that we need support of $5,000, uh, which we will touch around 
thousand children. Uh, knowing who you know among you or your friends uh, that can help me to contact to the donors or also get connections for, for mentors and also companies or other NGOs that <coughs> can be a part of this movement. So this, this um, little action starting from Yamto, he uh, now has the access to the books and it will really um, definitely will impact the community around him, impacts hers, uh, <coughs> impacts his friends, and also the schools, and in the end, it's, they are our young generation, they are the future of Indonesia, and we would love to um, see them escalate themselves into an educated and productive life because we believe that today they are a reader, tomorrow they will be a leader. Thank you. Thank you.